There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. It's been way too long. If I could lay down beside you, I would. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Reina, this is Tiago, and we are going to make waffles, keto waffles this morning. No, we're not picking a huevo. Y otro huevo, y falta este, y otro. Muy bien, ahora ponle la pepa, es vainilla. Es vainilla. Wow. Wow, gracias. ¿Quieres leche cremeta? No, le hace falta queso crema. Queso quema. Los que necesitamos. Uno. Dos. Sí, ok. Muchas gracias. Vente, vamos a poner la licuadora. Sí. Sofia just woke up from a nap. Sofia is eating um, a little puree that I made her. So this is, um, I pureed ground beef with some homemade bone broth, uh, a little bit of avocado, some and some salt, and that's it. She's had it for the last couple of days, but it's hit or miss. She's, she's liked it a couple times, and then other times she doesn't. Sophia turned six months old. I didn't realize you couldn't see me. Sophia turned six months old yesterday. So I'm more comfortable feeding her more often now. I used to just offer her food. Si, mi amor, un momento. I used to offer her food just one to two times a day. And now I'm gonna start doing more like two to three times a day. Even if she doesn't take in more, still just offering it more often. Yeah.
Hey everybody, so it is past one o'clock, it is 1.03, and I've actually been hungry for a while, but I had to put my kids down and the nap time around lunchtime time, time frame between like 11.30 and one, it gets busy because my kids start acting out, they both need things at the same time, and then I get hungry and I have been doing a bad job lately of eating when I'm hungry because of that. And so I wait too long. I wait too long before I eat. This looks freaking delicious. Freaking delicious. Good, good, good. I want to make myself another cup of coffee. It's a double espresso actually. And every time I sit here, there's a huge glare in my glasses. That's why I never put them on. Okay. So a couple of vlogs ago, I told you guys that we were painting our living room in our kitchen. And I wanted to show you guys the finished product because if you've watched my vlogs before, you could see in the background that we had a light gray. So this is darker but not, not a whole lot. It's more just a change of color. Um, so we had Freddie's cousin, who's a painter, come out on Friday, a Friday, not last Friday, and he painted the house. Yeah. And it was, you know, I told him that it was darker than what we're used to, so it was gonna take a little getting used to, and he said, well, you know, I know an electrician that can do some really nice recessed lighting and make everything look brighter and make the color look like maybe what you saw at the store because at the store when you buy the paint it's under like this really bright light so it looks lighter and so we were like sure let's do it so he came out that sunday so basically within a weekend we changed basically like the whole look of our house and i love it i wanted to show you guys the finished product so this is a new color you can see against the white trim um how it looks so it, it does, you know, contrast the white a lot more than the color that we used to have. And I really like that. The, the, the gray that we used to have was like a really light gray and it was almost white. It really didn't contrast the white that much. So, and that's the lighting. We got to patch up those um, areas where they had to cut. They're gonna come do that soon, but yeah. My favorite part is that they're dimmable but I can't really show you right now because I'm holding Sophia. And this hallway is probably my favorite part because it looks so bright. We have to patch up those holes. So Tiago is napping right now, um, which means I have a little bit of time and peace and quiet. So I'm actually gonna get dinner prepped early. Um, I have some chicken drumsticks. You will always find these on my meat, almost always, because I love to get anything on discount. So I'm going to make caldo de pollo, which is basically a chicken soup, Mexican chicken soup. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in it. So I got my drumsticks, I got my corn. I know, I know, hold on a second. That's not keto. And this is yuca. It's like a, like a potato. Freddie says that they eat this a lot in Honduras. I had never eaten it um, until I met him. But you have to peel all of this. It's really hard to peel off the skin. So you peel all of it, and then when you cook it really, really well in the soup, um, it gets nice and mushy, uh, kind of like a potato. So it tastes like potato. Onion, some tomatoes, this one's bad, but I'm gonna cut the bad part off. Tomatoes. Some zucchinis. And some carrots. So the reason I said hold on is because I know that these are not keto. A lot of them are. A lot of them are not keto. Um, so in the soup, I'm actually just going to do like in my soup, I'm just going to do the chicken, the tomatoes and the onion. And then in a separate pot, I'm going to boil 
the corn and the yuca and the carrots and the zucchini because I don't want any of that stuff. So, but then eventually I'm gonna put it all together for Freddy because he loves all of the veggies. So, so let's make some caldo de pollo. So I know I said that I was going to put all of the vegetables that I didn't want in a separate pot, but I changed my mind. I do not want to use a whole other pot. This one's already big. I didn't expect to use this big one, but it's so much chicken and so, so many vegetables that I just decided to use a big one. Um, I'm going to put it all in one pot and then I'll just, you know, I just won't eat the vegetables that I don't want. I'm going to eat mostly chicken, but these are for Freddy and Tiago has some corn every now and then too. Because those are the vegetables that take a little bit longer to cook, I'm just gonna leave those in there. And once that boils and has time to soften, then I'll add the yuca and the zucchini in there as well. This is what the yuca looks like after it's been peeled. Um, I chopped this up into, I don't know, about three or four pieces and then put it in the, um, the soup. And like I said, it tastes like potato. Um, it's very starchy, so I don't eat it anymore. Um, but I've tasted it and it's pretty good. It's been boiling for a little bit now, so. I'm going to go ahead and add the yuca and the zucchini in as well. These just don't take as long to cook. So I like to add them in later so that they don't get all mushy. Look at that. Yum. You can tell that at the top, you know, the, the fat from the chicken skin. Um, is gathering at the top and it, it looks freaking delicious. I don't really have a recipe for this. Um, I just have a bunch of different spices that I like to add. My mom, the way she used to make it, she used to add this like chicken or beef bouillon. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it has a bunch of crap in it like msg yeast color i mean caramel color a bunch of stuff that i don't recognize that i don't like in my food i don't really know how long this boils really i don't know like i said i don't have a recipe for it um but i can type it up i can type up like how i made it if you guys are interested i can put it in the description but if no one asks for it then i probably won't um i won't type it in there but if you ask for it i will put it in the description for you The soup is done and I got a drumstick and some veggies. Tiago. I got some veggies and a drumstick for Tiago. For her second meal, I'm feeding Sophia one of these pouches. It's um by this brand Serenity Kids. And I used to feed these to Tiago too when he started solids. Um and when I didn't make his purees. It's just beef, kale, sweet potato. They're not exactly low carb, but the ingredients are really clean and they beat um, making your own. Honestly, like meat is so hard to puree. So I like these, they're convenient. You know just what you do, you do to me Play my emotions like a pair of puppet strings Did it ever occur to you, my heart's more than a toy? 
Please go easy on me, babe. Send message after message, forward my call. Next day you hear me back like nothing happened at all. What about all the things you used to say to me? This ain't the way it's supposed to be. And you know, I wouldn't do that to you. You know, I wouldn't.